Hi, I'm Gina McMillan and I'm an illustrator from Phoenix, Arizona. I tried for another 10 minutes to casually introduce myself in front of a camera and it didn't work. So here goes. I am a stay-at-home mom. I have two very young children and I enjoy drawing every day. Um, most of my drawings are about being a mom myself and trying to carve out my own space for creativity. I love posting my ideas to Instagram and sharing them with the whole world. So it was quite a surprise when I got an email from Cassie explaining to me about this show because I felt like it was a really sweet idea and it was something that I wanted to be a part of. I chose a beautiful poem, Poem 20, that goes, I thought of the night you told me you loved me and I forced myself to believe you. And it reminds me of how you tell that story differently casting whoever said, I love you first as the villain. And now it all reminds me of you. Doorknobs, nighttime, ponytails, phone calls, love. You remind me of love. Hasn't it been long enough? I really enjoyed how the poem itself gave me lists of objects that maybe I could start with as a point of inspiration, as well as being about love, which is um, a very uh, feminine topic that I just love drawing about. So um, I drew telephones and ponytails and girls and lots of different emotions and I ended up settling on one of my more serious moody looking girls and um, I knew since I was doing a screen print and didn't have a ton of experience that I should probably use the negative space in a really interesting way. So I created a drawing where the hair uh, kind of disappears into the negative space, hopefully giving the illusion that it's filling up the negative space. Um, so I got some really nice uh, lavender colored French paper, painted my idea onto my screen, and uh, voila! I was pretty happy with how this print run came out, especially for my first time. Hi! My name is Max and I'm a graphic designer and art director based in Berlin, Germany. I was pretty pleased to be invited to participate in the exhibition From Us, as I'm also involved in a magazine for inventive writing in both German and English called Still Magazine. And therefore, I got a strong passion for words and writing. When I first saw the works by Molly and Karim, their poems, one of the pieces immediately caught my eye. It was like a dialogue, like a, a conversation, a sequence of questions and answers rather short ones with mixed capitalization and actually not really matching. It reminded me of a chat, like the kind of you send somebody in the middle of the night. I have no idea if that was Molly's or Karine's intention or not, but since I mostly follow my intuition in my work and usually put the content first, not the design, I decided to layer the poem as an iMessage chat without any typographic intervention. A clean design stands in strong contrast to the slightly bizarre conversation but let's the poem do the talking. I wanted to give the work more of a context rather than changing the poem itself or working with only a piece of it. For me, design and art is all about communication, a message. So my goal was to communicate my perception of the poem, showing everyone looking at the print what I had in mind when I first saw it. The small old school emoji off center at the end is pretty much the same reaction I had when I read the poem for the first time. Like, what did I just read? Is this like a real con written conversation people had, reminding myself that I'm dealing with a poem, so maybe fiction. Having the artwork ready for production, I contacted a print shop in Minneapolis Burlesque and asked them to use a special silkscreen printing technique, mixing two colors, metallic silver and black, coming together in a gradient. That kind of artistic, crafty intervention was for me a way to contrast the slightly tacky design we know from our mobiles. In the end, every print is unique and a little bit different because the colors meet at different places and interact. Again, emphasizing the poem's very essence, a kind of conversation, but this time between colors. Unfortunately, I couldn't come to the opening, but I'm very happy to be part of From Us, 
thanks for the invitation and to all of you watching support your lovely local gallery and get one of the fantastic prints from the show thanks Hey everybody, my name is Destiny Davison. I am a writer, illustrator, and graphic artist from Minnesota. If you've seen some of my work either online or you've met me at a zine fair, uh, you know I, I, I do mostly cartooning, comic art, uh, pairing flash fiction and short stories or taglines or jokes with illustration. I tend to start most everything with ink on paper and then move that sketch or that concept over to the digital world uh, where I'll play around with color and texture and photos maybe and see where I end up. Uh, as far as choosing a poem to work with for uh, the show and for my piece, that was a difficult decision uh, because as I'm sure you know, uh, the, the work of Kareem and Molly Margaret is just beautiful. So reading through all of the poems and trying to make a decision on what poster, um, what to make as a poster or what to create from was very difficult and I just had to accept the process of sitting back and trying to, to let the answers come and uh, see what poem or lines was sticking with me the most throughout the process. And I landed on poem six and a particular line that read, I would like to be more like you. And at the time I had a sketchbook full of hands. I had been drawing hands as practice and they're all different types, robot hands, people hands, monster hands, uh, singular, overlapping each other, holding hands, uh, whatever I could get my hands on is what I was drawing. And I had started to pair all of those hands with uh, this line, I would like to be more like you in my head, and starting to visualize what that would look like, uh, especially when it comes to um, the theme of difference, which is something I like to explore a lot in my own work, and something that I felt, um, felt again when I read that line, I would like to be more like you. And so with all of these hands framing the typography and the poster, I hope they would be able to complement each other and speak toward the idea of difference and that concept that uh, I know to be true, which is that we're, we're, we're all coming to this world with our own tools, our own history, our own shape, and that alone is beautiful, but being able to share that uh, with each other and kind of bleed into each other throughout our lives is something that think about a lot and something that I was reminded of again when reading Molly and Kareem's work and, and, and picking that line, I would like to be more like you as, as something I wanted to work with in my poster. Uh, so yeah, that's how I arrived at my poster design. Before I go, I do need to thank Gamut Gallery uh, once again for putting on an incredible show. If you didn't get a chance to see it in person, please go to Gamut's website and check out all the incredible work made by so many artists, as well as um, you'll be able to, to see the written work of Kareem and Molly Margaret. All of the poems are there too, so make sure to check that out. And thank you again so much, Ga Gamut, for the opportunity, and I hope to see you very soon. Hey, I'm Alexis Pollitt. I did poem number 10. When we were first given our poems, it was just on a Word document blank. You didn't know who it was by. It was just regular Times New Roman or so. And I really liked that you had no idea, like the anonymity of a person's work could then be portrayed. And as they're walking into the room of the gallery night, they get to see who, which author, which illustrator, which designer got their piece and was able to be like, oh, I, I wonder how the artist or graphic person was able to characterize that in a very small but large way. So I thought it was really neat that I got one that was really tender and really soft. It was poem number 10, and it says, I can see your hair, may I hold your hand? I was automatically drawn to it because of its symmetry and the way the cadence of the words matched each other for those two lines. And those are the two lines from the rest of the poem that really stood out to me because I felt they held a lot of power and um, mostly just how you would say them or how you would read them, but also just really sweet, simple gestures um, like, I can see your hair. Don't know what that means. Like, could be like your hair in a bun and you can only see the sides, like the wisps. Or it could be 
armpit hair that's like slightly coming out of your like shirt and then may I hold your hand like of course it's like the question of it's so childish and so loving that I don't know if it, it feels really genuine and but like soft yet kind of like attractive in a way so I really really enjoyed being able to characterize that poem in colors and shapes. And so because it was so loud to me and so simple, you know, I can see your hair, may I hold your hand. Like, that's just five words each. I can and may I, I really wanted that to stand out because they just matched and were perfectly mirroring each other <laughs> without mirroring, but um, just they were four letters and I thought that was great. And then the rest of the poem laying over on top of it. So you can see, like when you look at my piece, you can see like the childish, like fun colors and like the fun lettering, but it's also like kind of strong and rigid um, just for how simple it is. And I really wanted to show that it's simple. It's also big and loud and soft. I wanted people to like take a moment to think about what they were looking at and to enjoy that like the poem has two different layers. Anyway, I was really drawn to that and I'm glad that I got that one a chance because it really matched me and I think it matched my personality when it comes to drawing and typography. Hi, I'm Evan Wesselman and I'm an artist and illustrator based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, when Cassie initially sent me the email regarding this exhibition, and I was reading through the poems, I was, I was looking for ones that we're kind of image heavy. I'm an illustrator and so as an illustrator I, I focus on the image and the image is ultimately the the driving force of what I do and so I was looking for poems that were um, that emphasized the image and so when I found the one that I ended up deciding on uh, it really resonated with the image of the dog and I like drawing dogs so I figured that would be a good fit for me. Um, as well in addition to that there was uh, in the brief that was given to me, the word Ouroboros was mentioned and this idea of like a, like a reflecting echo chamber of ideas and words. And so I really responded with that idea. I create intricate line drawings that are all just a single line. And so that mirrors the Ouroboros, the idea of the snake eating itself. So I resonated with that and that kind of, that idea helped to ground the, the first layer of the print. And then on top of that, I just built up um, kind of in-process sketches of little dogs and cowboys and things and so that kind of helped to nail down and the final piece um overall exhibition was super fun it was really great to work with this like diverse and wide cast of uh creators from around the country um yeah i mean a lot of people from minneapolis but there's also a lot of people from the country and so it was really cool to work with just different people like i come from the painting and the illustration world and i'm not super focused on i don't know so say something like type but it was great to get that diversity.